Hey guys, good day and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So, um, we are, we are going to be making this two piece. It's a it it's a simple top and the trouser part that is the pants has a front slit. So we are going to be drafting it. I'll show you guys how to draft it. I'm just going to be drafting it. Um, posting the drafting video. Then later I'll do the joining video. So I just wanted to get my starting line, but it was not up to my top line. So I used um. 33 inches for the stop length because I don't have enough fabric so that even if it comes out for only the top I can use it to wear leggings so that's why I made it to be long so there's the top length that I'm getting get your top length whatever length you want to use for the top so once you have your top length is just for you to draft your normal basic bodies so you bring out two inches as if you are um as if you want to make a shirt you bring out two inches for the button stand but we are not adding button to this it's just for the to get that pleat it has a pleat so for you to achieve that pleat you are going to mark out two inches you can use 1.5 but use two inches so that it will come out the way it is on that on that video so once you um you have your two inches line, you start taking your measurements on that two inches line. I got my shoulder measurement. I went down by one inches, then got my chest line. Then connected the the dots. That is my chest line. So the next thing, the next thing here now is to get the middle of your armhole. Then go in by half inch. Also connect it. So once you have it this way, you you are going to get your waist location. I use 16 inches for my waist location. You also get your hip location. I use 24 inches um, for my hip location. So the next thing is to get your hip location. I use 24 inches. Remember that we are making a top, not a dress. So once you have it, you take your bust circumference. Remember that you are uh, taking your measurement from that two inches line. Also take your waist circumference. I took all the measurements and I added 1.5 inches allowance to all the measurements, all the dots or line. So once you connect from your chest to your waist, from your waist to your hip, then from your hip to your full length. So whatever you have on your hip, that is what you are going to get on your full length. Or you can just maybe widen it a bit. It depends on the way you want to cover it. So this is what I have. I'm just trying to cover the waist so that it will not come out too sharp. Too sharp. So the down part, you get the total amount you have there. Then divide it by to get the midpoint. Then on the side seam, I went up by 4 inches then connect it to that midpoint line just to give you that curve just for you to have that curve so the next thing is to get your neck width i'm using three inches neck width for the back i used one then for the front i used three inches it has a total neck then i connected my shoulder slope so this is what i have i'm trying to connect that point so that it will not be too sharp Remember that I went up by 4 inches then I just did my curve. I'm just trying to curve that place a little so that it will not come out sharp. Then the neck, I'm trying to um, connect it very well. So once you have it, you are going to cut it out. So what's the way I'm going to cut it out? I'm, please, you are cutting this on fold. I'm just lifting it because it's a pattern paper so that I can use the other one to cut the trouser. You are cutting this on fold on your fabric, please. And you are not going to slit it open like the way you do your shirt. You are just going to cut it and leave it that way. And remember that it's on fold. So I'm cutting the front, um, the back um, armhole, then the back neckline. Because I'm going to use it to cut the back or uh, the back. So you are going to, the front and the back will be the same thing. The only difference the only difference there will be the neckline and the armhole. So every other thing will be the same. You are also going to bring out that stand. 
Oh, it's time to cut the tamper. That is the trouser part. Here is what I have. I'm cutting this on a pattern paper. You can cut it directly on your fabric. It's because I don't have mark at home. That's why I want to draft it on a pattern paper. So you just get your starting line. From that line, you get your hip location. I have a tutorial on how to make um your pants so but i'll see just take you so this line is nothing i'm um, yeah the, uh, the part uh, the pattern paper is not straight so i'm just getting a guideline on where to start taking my measurements so that everything will come out equal so get your hip location the next thing is to get your crouch location you know how we get our crouch location that is your hip divide by four plus one inch or plus half inch so if you don't want it to come out too tight you just add one inch but if you want it to come out tight you just add maybe half inch so that is basically uh, basically what i did here the next thing now is to get your new location so yeah yes we are going to be working with the new because it's somehow fitted it's not palazzo so you get your new location you extend the lines also So once you have it like that, you start taking your hip circumference. I took my hip circumference. I added one inch, uh, one point five inches allowance. I took it down to the crotch, then up to the waist. Then I divided that eleven inches. That is my hip location. That is my hip. Divide by four. Then also divide it by four again to get the your crouch extension. That is the amount you need to extend for your uh, crouch. So the next thing is to go down by three inches from the crouch line to get your tie line. So once you have your tie line, you divide the total you have on your crouch line just to get the midpoint. Then you take your round new your round new measurement. So I'll take my round. Remember that the allowance you add on your tie is just one inch. Then I took my round new measurement. I added one inch allowance also. So I'll connect the lines. I'll connect the lines. Please don't mind the way the shape is looking here. Make sure you take your waist measurement before you start connecting this line because it will give you a funny look. So it's looking like this because I did not mark my waistline first before connecting it, but it's okay. It should still give you something nice. So you are going to extend that midpoint line. You are going to take it down to the hemming line. So I'm just trying to extend it. And remember that my paper is not equal. That is my pattern paper is not equal so once you have it i'm just going to i want it to be straight from the knee down to the hemming line so you just connect whatever you have on that knee whatever measurement you have i'm going to take it down to the hemming line i just want it to be that straight there so whatever you have there i'm going to take that knee line done the measurement i'm going to take it down so once you have it done you are going to connect it with a straight ruler so connect it with a straight ruler down to that your hem line so please it will give you somehow look because you want to pencil it if it's a palazzo you know you'll start connecting it from your you just take it straight down from that your tie line so on that line you go up by 11 inches i went down from that your hemming line you i went up by um 11 inches then went out by half half inch on both legs uh legs because i wanted to be to flay out a bit on that line so i went up by 11 inches then i went out by half half inch then connected it straight from that hemming line i i connected it straight to meet the 11 inches line so that is it so it can go out by half inch go up by um 11 inches then connect that half inch to slantly to the 11 inches line so i did my waistline because you guys complain that i don't do waistline so i'm doing a waistline so i went down by half inch i got my waist measurement that is my um lower waist measurement then connected it so the like what i said you should get your 
um, waist measurement before connecting this line so that it will give you a perfect line so i want this to have a zipper i want the front to have uh, have a normal zipper not a zipper fly and all that so just a normal straight zip so i went from that line i went up by one inch for my zipper allowance then i connected it to the heat pad this is the way it's going to look so once you have it you are going to cut it out so this is how it looks so i'm not going to be doing the joining video today it will have a part two because i don't have enough space in my phone to record everything so i'll just um post this one then make another video on how you can join it just a simple uh, dress so this is it this is how you are going to cut it So this is this is the zipper part what's the way you are going to cut the zipper part and um, please if you don't understand it drop a comment and i will go through it so so here is the front is ready we are going to be drafting the back in the final video there's no space here again so i'll just leave it this way then i'll when i'm joining it i'll show you how you can cut the back but just the normal way you cut cut your pants that is the back part so this is it